Welcome to Electron Online. Another nice application for exponential functions is keeping track of animal populations. So populations in animals will usually adjust themselves to the environment. If there's plentiful food, then the animal population will increase. When there are a lot of predators, then certain animal populations will decrease, back and forth like that. And so here's an equation that might describe the amount of fish in the lake or the amount of deer in the forest and so forth. So if the number that we're dealing with here is in thousands, so that would be 10,000, and time is in years, we can say that as time goes by, the population will increase to a larger and larger amount. Um, it will then have a limit because, of course, the resources will be limited and population is always limited to their resources available. So what we're going to do here is to get a, a little bit more of a feel for the equation. We're going to find the population as it is at time equals zero and the population that it will end up with when time goes to infinity. Of course, time doesn't really go into infinity, it's simply when time becomes very large. So what is the population when time is equal to zero? So P when time is equal to zero, that would be equal to the initial population that is equal to 10 divided by one plus four times e to the zero power because when T goes to zero, e to the zero of course then is equal to one and this becomes 10 divided by one plus four which is 10 divided by five which is two and of course since the numbers are in thousands that means we would start off let's say with, ten, with 2,000 deer in the forest. But if the food is plentiful and the, the predators are few, then the population will continue to grow until the deer population reaches the available resources in that particular forest. So what will the population be when time goes to a very large number? So the population when time equals infinity, or I should say approaches infinity because it never actually reaches infinity because that would take forever, is equal to 10 divided by one plus four times e to the minus 0 0.5 times infinity. And of course, e to the minus infinity, that is the negative exponent, you actually put it in the denominator, one over e to the infinity goes to zero, and so therefore this becomes 10 divided by one plus zero, which is simply equal to 10, which means the population starts at 2,000 and ends up at 10,000. If we were to graph this function, this function would look like this. So at time equals zero, because this would be time and this would be population, at time equals zero, we would start off with 2,000 and we end up initially, at, uh, finally at 10,000 and the curve is kind of like this. It's like a growth function. All right. So now we're trying to find the population after two years. So what we do now is we say the population when time is equal to two years is equal to 10 divided by one plus four times e to the minus 0 0.5 times two. Of course, that would be equal to 10 divided by one plus four e to the minus one power. And let's get a calculator for that. So we have negative one, that's the exponent times four plus one, take the inverse of that and multiply it times 10. And so we get this is equal to about 4.05. So 4.05, which means there would be about 4,050 uh, specimens within that forest. So in, the, in this case, we're talking about deer, there would be a little over 4,000 deer in the forest after two years. And finally, what we're trying to do is how much time will have to elapse for the population to have reached 99% of its final value. Since its final value is 10,000, 99% of that would be 9,900. So how much time will it take for the deer population to reach 9,900 in this case? All right, let's find out. So how do we do that? Well, we're trying to find T here. So I have to somehow solve this equation for T. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. First of all, we're going to multiply this times this and see what we get. So we have P times one plus four E to the minus 0 0.5 T is equal to 10. So now we multiply this through, we get P plus four P E to the minus 0 0.5 T is equal to 10. Subtract P from both sides. So we have four P e to the minus 0 0.5 t is equal to 10 minus p. Now we're going to divide both sides by 4 p. Essentially, we're trying to isolate the exponential portion of the function here. So let's do that over here. So we have e to the minus 0 0.5 t is equal to 10 minus p divided by 4 p. Now notice, 
we have this isolated, now we can take the natural log of both sides because essentially we're so trying to solve for time. So take the natural log of the left side, we get the natural log of e to the minus 0.5t is equal to the natural log of 10 minus p divided by 4p. All right, now you know that this negates the exponential, so we simply get the exponent back. So this becomes minus 0.5t is equal to the natural log of 10 minus p divided by 4p. And finally, solving for t, we get t is equal to, uh, the negative can go to the other side, divide both sides by 0.5, so we get the negative of the natural log of 10 minus p divided by 4p, and then the whole thing divided by 0.5. Now, of course, we're trying to find the time when the population has reached 99% of its final value. 99% of its final value would be 9,900. So this would become the time when um, uh, the population is equal to 9.9. .9. That would be 99% of its final value. So this would be equal to minus the natural log of 10 minus 9.9 .9 divided by 4 times 9.9, .9, and the whole thing divided by 0 0.5. Okay, now we need a calculator. So we have 0 0.1 divided by 4 divided by 9.9 .9 equals, now we take the natural log, multiply times the negative 1, and divide by 0 0.5. And how long would that take? That would take about 11.96 years which is approximately equal to 12 years. So we can say that in this particular environment in the forest, starting out with 2,000 deer, after 12 years, we would have reached almost the total, the final amount of 10,000 deer, about 99% or 9,900 deer after about 12 years. And that's how we use that function.